Project Zoika. That's what the intel in Oasis pointed to. Valen's mysterious mission in Africa. I was supposed to find answers, but left with more questions. My orders are to find out what the informant knows, to fill in the blanks. Problem is, he's being held at a POW camp to the north, and the only way through is Halfaya Pass. I'm hitching a ride with a long-range desert group, but the Germans have dug in with flak 88s and a heavy motor pool. We can't afford a massive firefight. I'll have to take out the guns and help the LRDG push through. The pass is heavily fortified, with plenty of narrow spaces and close quarter surprises. I'll need to watch my six and pack a couple of mines to cover a quick exit. I suppose they don't call it Hellfire Pass for nothing. So what's going on guys, it's your boy Nerd Modon, and welcome to the next episode of Sniper Elite 3, a let's play where we're going to be playing through the campaign of this game and hopefully having some cool kill cams along the way. So we're going to kind of run up on this right hand side up here, should probably switch out to our silence pistol considering that it's pretty useful especially in these engagements, especially if you're trying to go stealthy and trying to get behind the opposition and overall just be a very sneaky player. Alright, as you guys can see on the mini-map, there's a guy on our right-hand side. I'm going to kind of sneak my way up here, considering that it's probably a pretty good idea. And if we can do that, we'll take care of him with the silence pistol, which should ultimately allow us to continually be successful and silent during this mission. Alright, pretty cool little kill cam there. Get a quick reload in here, considering that it's never really a bad idea to always have a full mag. We're going to climb up this really fast. We're going to continue to be silenced. I might be able to get around this corner before this guy gets over here. That's kind of what I'm hoping on, at least. Alright, he's been taken care of. Let's get another bullet back in here really quick. As well as, we're going to continue to sneak up on this right-hand side. It does look like an infantry unit that we're going to be coming up on here in just a moment. As well as another guy, as you can kind of see. Oh no. Well, that guy is completely oblivious. I was not expecting him to just not be paying attention. Alright, that guy's taken care of as well. Looks like this guy's kind of taking down the fourth and pretty much holding it down. That guy's been taken care of. Looks like we have approximately 10 bullets left in the silence pistol, so we're definitely going to want to be careful what we do. Try not to be overly aggressive, as well as try not to miss too many shots, considering that that can lead to a pretty frustrating experience. That guy way up there has just almost caught us. First order of business. Find those 88s. Alright, so we need to destroy the artillery, of course. We're going to kind of climb above this really fast. Trying to be as sneaky as possible, I mean, we could definitely go loud, and I don't think we'd have too many issues. However, I don't really feel like that's the best option, especially for what we're trying to accomplish, and overall what we're trying to do. Uh, I'm not going to be able to snipe that guy in the face, however, I'm sure we can probably knife kill him. Oh no, oh no. Oh, bud, what are you doing? You almost had me, bud. And then he decided to be absolutely just incredibly dumb, which ultimately kind of hurt him. I almost didn't know that guy was there, but I do like the minimap, how it kind of lets me know if they're on my level or not. All right, we did pick up a bandage. I don't really think we're going to need it at this current moment, but... Nonetheless, it's good to know.
All right, we're going to kind of run back here really fast, considering that there's this vehicle over here, which is actually allowing us to snipe these guys without the repercussions of making lots of noise. However, the big thing is trying to find people. I think we're going to be able to get this guy. Hopefully we have not been alerted, considering that that would be very bad. Nope, looks like we were successful. Alright, I don't currently see anybody else, which is definitely not good. There should be a couple of other guys somewhere. But unfortunately, I'm just not seeing anybody. I guess we're going to kind of go in for some CQB action, I guess. Wait, what is spawning me? I totally forgot there was a dude inside this vehicle. There we go. Kind of forgot. I guess that makes sense. I mean, he was, you know, remming the engine, so I guess that does make a lot of sense. Oh, no. You don't see anything. Alright, those two guys have been taken care of. We're going to kind of go over here and get rid of this guy as well. Looks like two infantry units that we're going to be coming up on here in just a moment, as well as a generator that we can kind of give a good old smack and it should make some pretty good noise. Looks like it's on the other side of this wall. But I should be able to hopefully shoot these guys in the mouth without them actually knowing what's going on. I'm low on ammunition. Why do I hear additional noises? No, we should be okay. Alright, we're going to sabotage this really quick. Actually, I don't think it's really going to allow us to do really of anything. Alright, I guess we'll continue to run up this way. See if we can switch back to our silence pistol. That actually might be beneficial. I'm going to head up this way as well, considering that I do see a path up here. Looks like we have some artillery making some noise. Which is definitely very beneficial for us trying to kill some additional players and just do everything else. Alright, he's been taken care of. One more pistol bullet left in this gun. We will end up having to find something else. Alright, he's been shot in the back of the head. Kind of jump across this really quick. Let's check his body to see if he has any bullets for our weapon. Oh man, that was a little bit quicker than I had anticipated. We're going to go for that guy as soon as we get a chance to shoot him. Alright, that's actually going to hit him in the ear, it looks like, or somewhere along the head. Now, as you guys can see in the kill cam, it looks like there's another guy actually right there, which we should be able to kill pretty easily. I don't think we'll have too many difficulties. Alright, right in the back of the head, of course. We want to try to get rid of as many of these guys as we can. I'm thinking we can probably throw a frag grenade on that, considering that I'm sure you guys noticed that there was explosive barrels underneath of it. So hopefully those will blow up the entire thing. Alright, this is going to be right in the face. Pretty much right on the head, which is always good. See anybody else we should know about? Let's, see if, let's get that frag grenade out, actually. Alright, frag out. Alright, I think we actually took care of everybody that we needed to. I can hear somebody else running around somewhere. They just made One some noise. Down, there'll be more. This guy's gonna get hit right in the face. Definitely a pretty cool kill cam though. Oh yeah, we completely reconstructed his skull. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be as useful as it was previously. 
but I guess that's kind of the consequences of getting shot in the face by a bullet, so nonetheless, can't be too surprised there. Let's check this guy's body, see if he has any ammunition for our pistol. Uh, looks like he had four rounds for us, so we can definitely use those. Alright, so let's take out the Thompson, considering that we're kind of getting into some CQB action. It's never a bad idea to have a weapon that's really designed for these types of engagements. And hopefully we won't have to use it, but nonetheless, if we do, at least we have something that can be a little bit more spray and prayed useful, as well as some additional things that can definitely assist. Speaking of it, I think I'm going to pull the pistol out, considering that there's this guy, which we'll take care of. A couple more guys, it looks like, on top of the building, or maybe on the lower floor. I'm not quite sure yet. From the looks on our mini-map, it looks like there's a guy pretty much right around this corner. Alright, does anybody see us yet? I don't know, I think we're okay. Alright, shoot that guy right in the face. Let's go up on top and get rid of the guy that's pretty much on top of the building, actually, speaking of it. I think I saw a ladder back here that we will be able to use. Definitely want to be careful. We don't want to spook these guys, considering that they are easily spookable. Not quite sure how he doesn't hear somebody walking up the ladder, but hey, it's a video game. Can't get too crazy. Alright, that guy's been taken care of. Let's check his body, considering that we only have one bullet left. Alright, so the real question is, is there a generator somewhere that we can use to mask our noises? I have a feeling that there is not. Oh, there's a guy down there. We could definitely go loud in this particular case, but I feel like that's just not a good idea. It's better to always be stealthy, considering that the AI, as dumb as they can be sometimes, they do have tactics. You know, they will surround the building, throw frag grenades, um... Even in many cases, they'll just completely flood you multiple units, which the Thompson's great for that, but unfortunately this isn't Call of Duty where, you know, you can kind of take 15 bullets and be okay. So you definitely need to kind of pick your engagements, try to be a little bit more conscious of what you're doing. Alright, that guy's been taken care of. I need to hope he has ammunition on his body. Considering that there's another guy over there, as you guys can see on the mini-map, and we're definitely going to have to take care of him. Unfortunately, it looks like my luck is not as great as I would like to think. Let's see if we can go inside the building. There might be a way to get behind him, maybe stab him with our knife, or better yet, just really anything. But I have a sneaky suspicion that that's not going to be the case. Oh, well, actually, there is a staircase over here. This actually might work out in our favor. Alright, so what is he doing? Just kind of chilling? Maybe smoking a cigarette? I'm not quite sure yet. We'll have to get a little closer. Alright, we're going to quickly search his body. Looks like he did have some ammunition for us, which I thoroughly appreciate. Looks like a guy right over there, as you guys can kind of see. We actually had a weird camera angle there for just a moment. But nonetheless, I think we're actually okay to start running again. It's kind of good to kind of navigate around does make you a little bit more easy to spot, but that's not really a big deal, I guess. At least for the most part. Alright, there is a hole in the wall right here. I think this guy's actually in the building. I don't think he's walking around on the ground level. He might be in this room right here, though. Alright, I'm going to check his body then real quick. We should be picking up the MP40. It's actually a pretty good weapon but I'm not really too interested in it in this particular case. Considering from the previous episode, I'm sure you guys have noticed that our arsenal has slightly switched up. I'm running a different sniper rifle, a different reticle, as well as the Thompson. So definitely some different things there. Not completely different, but nonetheless, a difference nonetheless. All right, I think we can actually go loud, considering that there's no way I'm going to creep all the way around to that building just to kill one or two guys. I think I'm going to be okay if I just go loud in this building.